Hi guys, Chris here. It's been a while, probably about nearly 12 months now. I just thought I'd post another video. Uh, playing Modern Warfare 2 again. Um, I did go and buy Black Ops, but to be honest, it's complete enough to let down. And uh, no fun compared to Modern Warfare 2. So, what have I been up to? Uh, playing a lot of Killing Floor, to be honest. Um, still playing Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2. I did play Killing Floor for a good few months. And then I uh, started playing Test Drive 2 while I was waiting for my baby boy to be born, who's now three months old and he's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I've um, been watching a few videos and uh, read ups on the soon to be coming uh, Modern Warfare 3. It's like, that is the easiest kill you're ever going to get, honestly. Um, and I was watching some of my. Um, people that I subscribed to on YouTube and uh, noticed uh, they were still playing Modern Warfare 2 I thought I'd get back into it and then a friend of mine, a uh, bit of a name drop, too old he suggested that uh, I reset all my stats so I did, so I have and I've started again I did get up to um, Prestige 10 level 70 and it was all legit by the way I got about 900 and odd hours of gameplay uh, according to Steam it's about 26 hours and 26 days and 10 hours or something actually in game and uh, I'm enjoying it yeah actually I've got to say I have um, I only reset yesterday I'm up to about level 15 I think sergeant I think it is and uh, just messing around with guns um, particularly guns that I never really used to be honest so I've been using the L86 um, using low kill streaks, just three, four, five. Um, UAV, care package, predator. Um, I'm not trying to try hard anymore. I did all the achievements last time. I'm just in this for having a bit of fun, waiting for Modern Warfare 3. Um, and some, yeah, just some basic old school fun. So it's kind of like starting again. See, so start with all the, old, you know, the low end weapons that people are calling. But basically, you're starting Modern Warfare 2 but with map knowledge and that's the key knowing the maps knowing the little areas like there's a good example even though I do keep pummeling this guy is knowing that you know from B you can cover C um, so it's been fun I'm really really enjoying it. it does get a bit fast and furious on skid row so I've been using the L86 um, I was initially gonna just straight away put grip on it um, but I noticed I was having a lot of fun with just the red dot and no grip, so I've stuck with it. It has got stopping power, uh, I think I've got steady aim as well. Um, and I'm liking Sleight of Hand, which I've just got up to um, Sleight of Hand Pro, and it's really good. I was always a scavenger whore, um, always going for the high kill streaks, and this time around, as I say, I'm just in for some fun. So I've set the low kill streaks, um, Sleight of Hand, so hopefully I can win the gunfight. And uh, I seem to be doing all right. Uh, remain positive. Uh, I'm not the best player in the world. I'm not going to. You're not going to be seeing any KDs of like eight, nine, ten. Uh, on average, I think I'm averaging about 1.75 positive KD at the moment. I think this one's about a four to one. And um, if you've seen any of my video about 12 months ago, this is my little spot. I quite like this for defending B. You can cover C. You can cover um, one of the main routes that they use to uh, come up to B from A, which is up the, the boxes. The other thing I like about the, the low kill streaks is you can get them quite often without really trying. So you're always got something. This guy sneaks me. So you're always getting something because you know you can get three kills. So I'm quite liking that. I remember um, when I was doing my last set of videos. Um, I was setting them up for um, Black Ops because I believed uh, we knew there was no stopping power. So I think I'd set up the AK with Hardline, things like that. And I'd noticed that um, having UAV, counter UAV, um, care package or sentry gun or whatever for number five, uh, Predator, sorry, it was really useful. It was particularly useful just having the, the UAVs, to, to be honest. Um, I have just obviously unlocked. Um, Oh, I thought I was going to get a, a triple there. Uh, I have unlocked um, my first um, kill streak reward, and I'm still debating whether what to do with that. 
keep thinking I should go for Harrier, but I also think I should go for County UAV. Um, because just like I say, coming back to it with some map knowledge and also some up situational awareness uh, with the UAVs will be useful. Uh, I found it really useful when I was using um, Hardline with the AK-47. Um, so I think I'll probably unlock that to be honest. I'm liking the uh, the care package again. It's the old thing where uh, if you're quite a lower level, you tend to get good care packages. I think I've had three, three or four AC 130s. I think it's two or three chopper gunners and a pave law, and the rest have all been, you know, your standard UAV things like that. Um, I've only had two ammos. You normally always get ammo, don't you? Um, I've only had two of those, so I'm quite impressed with that. Um, so I'm a bit wary of getting rid of the um, the care package. It's quite nice to get a big kill streak out of a care package. Um, got quite a good winning streak going at the moment. I think it's about eight or nine games now. As I get a nice predator missile. As I say, I was just looking up at the radar there, and that's why they're so important. I, I noticed as I had just enough time to pick up that care package as they were coming around the corner from sea. So what else have I been doing? Yeah, as I said, I've been playing a lot of Killing Floor. I really like co-op and team-based games. Um, and uh, if nobody's played Killing Floor, I, I recommend it. Um, highly recommended. Uh, it's, it's, you buy it through Steam. Um, it's usually on cheap, but I'll be honest with you, even at full price, which I think is about £15, it's more than worth if you like team and team-orientated games. Because, in my opinion, you're not, I've played a lot of them, if not all team-based co-op type games and it's probably the best. Um, you really do have to work as a team, particularly as you're doing the harder levels. So how's the L86 without grip? Uh, pretty good. You've got to burst fire a little bit, though I think in this one I go a bit nuts and hold the trigger down but I was relying on steady aim as well, which did help. Um, it's a good gun. I always used to use what I used to call Old Faithful, which is the IPD, but at the moment because of um, restarted I thought I'll try and avoid those um, if possible it'd be too easy to go with all the uh, your old um, favorite weapons that are really good your try hard weapons basically as some would call them which is I would say your, your RPD on your uh, your LMGs your ACRs your scars um, on your uh, on your assault rifles still liking the spas had a bit of a run earlier on uh, just about managed to stay positive with the spas got about 27 28 kills died about 25 times not bothered having fun um, that was really good um, but other than that yeah it's really good I'd recommend anybody who's uh, got Metal Warfare 2 dropped it um, start it back up again if you wonder what I was doing I like shooting UAVs out the sky I like them, I like having them, so I guess if I like having them, somebody else on the bells inside likes having them, so I'll shoot them out of the sky. So, we're coming to the end of this, uh, I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Um, it's good to be back, I'm hoping to post some more. Um, so, have fun, stay safe, and continue enjoying your gaming. See you soon, bye bye.